conservationists have termed as tremendous improvement for a park whose population of rhinos was wiped out in the 1980s. As Kenya joins other nations across the globe in marking the World Rangers Day, George Maringa visited the Meru National Park and now reports on what it takes to protect these endangered wild animals. Situated in northern Kenya, the Meru National Park straddles the equator about 370 kilometers northeast of Kenya's capital, Nairobi. Here, volcanic soils create lush pasture rich in both minerals and nutrients. And it's here that the story of hope begins. In the 1960s, Kenya was home to an estimated 20,000 black rhinos, but just two decades later, poaching had reduced the population to less than 300. Consequently, rhinos at the Meru National Park, which occupies a size of 870 square kilometers of land, had been completely wiped out. But the year 2020 appears to have manifested a new dawn of hope in this park. It's raining babies. There is a landmark boom of both white and black rhino calves. We find this family of four white rhinos enjoying the mid-morning sun, although they immediately notice that we are in the neighborhood. On closer look, there's a calf. The rangers tell us the mother's name is Makena, and this is her fourth calf, whose gender is yet to be determined. It takes time to. Rhinos are endangered species which have poor eyesight, but a very high sense of hearing and smell is their modus operandi. Guarding this animal calls for more than just watching it. And apart now from the security duties that they undertake, they also do monitoring of the rhinos to check on their health, to check also on availability of food, availability of water, their distribution within the rhino sanctuary, because with that information, once it is passed to management, there are decisions that can be made based on that. Since rhinos are endangered species, you will often find them in a rhino sanctuary such as this one, which occupies about 10% of the entire Meru National Park. The availability of pasture and water determines the location of the sanctuary. Rhinos have a life expectancy of 50 to 60 years, and an adult could weigh up to 2.3 tons. Tens of thousands of rhinos once thrived in Africa's landscape. Since the beginning of the 20th century, humans have pushed the species to the brink of extinction as they were poached due to their horns. For rhinos, we actually don't do any external interventions in terms of uh, their birth rate because we believe that nature should take its course. So for us is to ensure that we provide a conducive environment for the rhinos to be able to reproduce. Black and white rhinos are unique in their appearance, which does not necessarily boil down to the color of their skin. White rhinos have a flat mouth shape, are grazers, and often calm, while black rhinos have a chisel mouth shape, are browsers, and they are both shy and aggressive. Guarding the rhino is not only a daytime affair, but extends round the clock as rangers are on the watch 24 hours a day. At night, they patrol the rhino sanctuary armed to the teeth to protect these delicate species. It might not be able to see someone approaching, but it might be able to detect someone who is approaching. So when you're taking care of this animal, you factor in all those aspects. How close can I get to this animal without interrupting its uh, maybe feeding behavior, its mating, mating behavior, and so on. But part of the training that we give to our rangers is that when they are posted to these rhino sanctuaries, at least they have these basics so that they can be able to approach the animal without putting themselves at risk of, of maybe attack of the animal or even ensuring that they don't disrupt this animal when it's going on with its normal behavior. Meru National Park has registered nine new rhino birds in the last one year, seven of which are white, while two are black. To acknowledge the efforts of rangers, Tourism CS Najib Balala launched a rhino naming fund in June this year, where interested persons will contribute 100,000 Kenya shillings. Proceeds of the fund will go into the welfare of the rangers. Instead of just naming for the sake of naming, we raise funds and take, the, take care of the welfare of the rangers who protected these rhinos. So today we establish the rangers funds for every national park that hosts rhinos. When early settlers came to eastern and southern Africa, rhino were hunted for sport and meat. Today, the demand comes from Asia and the Middle East, where rhino horn is falsely considered to have medicinal properties and is used to make ornaments. 
A kilo of rhino horn can fetch up to $60,000 or 6 million Kenya shillings on the black market. Ironically, rhino horn is just made of the same substance as human fingernails, keratin. The latest case of poaching at the Meru National Park was recorded in May 2018. We consider ourselves privileged to have actually been given that mandate to come and work with these animals. So our message to Kenyans, let us appreciate our flora and fauna. And some of the ways that we can actually appreciate is one, by visiting a national park, you'll always find that there's a national park close to you. Kenya has a total of 1,100 rhinos, while conservationists argue that returning to the original numbers could be a tall order. More needs to be done to prevent extinction. Today, the survival of one of Africa's iconic species rests on long-term solutions that involve rangers securing rhino habitat and reducing demand for its horn. For over two decades, the Meru National Park has been on the path to increase the population of its rhinos. With strides made, including the recent birds, the work is clearly catered for the rangers, whose primary duty is to protect this precious but rare species of wild animals. George Maringa, KTN News, at the Meru National Park. Many thanks to George Maringa. That story leads us to a short break, but before we do, let's just get a chance to sample the BQ. We asked you tonight, do you think Kenya is ready for the resumption of international flights? Just taking a look at some of your feedback on Twitter, Matthews Ondoro says, no, the government would have to wait for some time until at least for months or more. You allow Chinese back and they will come in hundreds, yet they still don't have vaccines back at their home. Expect the numbers to go up in the next one month. Well, Aleki says, I think they should again review the measures against combating the virus again till we are satisfied. Failure to do so, a risk looms by. We'll keep that conversation going at Ashley Mazuri at the Jesse Rogers at KT News. KE, the hashtag to use is Friday Briefing. We take a short commercial break. We still have... Other side, stay with us. <laughs>